So I'm going to share with you in a very quick presentation how you can use Adobe Spark tools to not only empower yourselves, but to empower the students in your classroom, okay? So are we ready to go? All right. So that's a little bit about me. I am a former school principal, John and I connected, and I am an adjunct professor and an educational consultant, and my passion is to support and mentor new teachers. I'm the founder of New Teacher Chat, I did that for seven years, and I'm happy to say that I am rebooting it in August. So if you know new teachers or you're supporting new teachers, please connect on the hashtag. In August, we'll be rebooting the chat on a monthly basis so that new teachers can come and learn about those things that they really need, lesson planning, classroom design, classroom management, and I'm joining together with my friend Chuck Poole, who some of you might know on Twitter. So please join me. And if you want to know more about what I do with new teachers, you can have them join the Facebook group, but that is my passion. I'm not a googly person, but I have a passion to support new teachers. So I want to just challenge you today before, as we talk a little bit together, how are you using technology? how you've been using it, and how you want to use it. You heard the amazing message yesterday by our keynote speaker who said over and over, are the things we're doing relevant with students? Are they relevant with your work? So as you look at my sharing of Adobe tools today, I'd like for you to look at it two ways. One, from the viewpoint of a new teacher to the classroom, and then secondly, is this something that could continue to be relevant for you? as you go along your teaching journey, okay? And then how does your school use tech? Is it old? Do you need new infrastructure? As a principal and John, I don't know if you get asked this question a lot, my teachers all would say, it's too slow, we need faster internet. So I want you to remember, use your teacher voice to speak up about the things that you need. Don't be passive. And John and I might not like that as administrators, but if we don't hear from you, then we don't know. So if there's things that you need to have your school be more of an agent of change, use your teacher voice and speak up. So let's look at those three tools from Adobe. The first one is, the first thing you need to do is sign up. So you're gonna go to Adobe Spark because you wanna ignite something bigger. And that's the intentionality behind the Adobe tools. So it's really quick and easy to use, and it's free. That's the operative word, right? The first one in this trio is Spark Post. So just like I'm sharing here, you can create posts, you can use them for social media, you can use them to push out to parents, and when you create one in one particular size, it will auto-resize for other places. So if everything's working on our board, I'm going to jump to what Spark Post looks like, okay? So with Spark, you can create amazing things. And if you can do it, then you know your students can do it. And one of the things that's very important to me as I talk with educators, as we did our road trip is, I am a woman of a certain age. And I have teachers who will tell me, oh, I'm too old, I can't do that. Well, I'm here to tell you that's unacceptable. You, if I can do it, you can do it. And if you can do it, your students can do it. So don't let yourself fall into that kind of hole where you feel like, well, I'll just let my students learn how to do it and they can teach me. Learn how to use these tools first to support your pedagogy, then let your students run with it, okay? So Spark Post is something that's so easy to use and it can create beautiful graphics all for free. The next one is Spark Page. Now there's three tools, post, page, and video. In Spark Page, you can actually create a website, you can create a web story, and it turns into this beautiful glide show. So think about the projects that you have that your students are doing. Are you asking them to do something special that you might not have said, well, let's create a page about this because your kids are gonna be, what? That's too hard. But with Spark Page, it's very simple and easy to use. This particular project that I'm gonna show you was created by second graders in the UK. Their teacher said, go out and find a business 
that needs a website and create it for them. So the kids went out into the neighborhood and they found this great company called The Deli and second graders created this great website that I'm gonna show you right here. These are second graders. So they found The Deli and they created this website. Now you notice the glide feature? <laughs> Jill is like, whoa. It's absolutely amazing, simple and easy to do. And you can see how you can have a static background with images and text that moves, right? So think of the kinds of projects you could do with your students. Think of the engagement that they would have and the joy that they would have to be able to create a page for a project instead of another way that you might have thought of doing it. So that's Adobe Paint. And the beauty of it is you can share these everywhere. Lastly, I want to share Spark Video. Now my very good friend, Christine Pinto, who is one of the ISTE ladies on the trip, she is very actively involved in a wonderful mentorship across the country. And she did a special thing across the country with a teacher, and the project they did was in Spark Video. And it's using Spark Video to connect their classrooms across the country. So let me share with you what this looks like. You can incorporate text, you can incorporate images, you can incorporate video, and the outcome is amazing. And to be able to share this across the country and share with each other, share it with parents, grandparents, it's absolutely amazing. So Adobe Page is super cool, and I want you to go in and investigate it further, okay? Really quick as we wrap up, Spark Premium was released on April the 1st to educators for free. And if you want to use Spark Premium, and you would like this, John, it allows you to brand with your own logo. So if you're a school site with a logo, a classroom with a logo, you're able to use Spark Premium to brand your presentation in a really cool way. So when you get a chance, I want you to check that out, Spark Premium. And it's free! And if you're wondering, Lisa, how am I going to do this? You're going too fast. You can go on to the Adobe Ed Exchange, and there, there are teachers and other educators who are very, very well versed in using these three tools. And for free, you can learn from them in terms of how to manipulate the tools, use the tools. So I want you to go to the Ed Adobe, um, Ed Adobe Exchange and learn how to use these tools to a greater depth, okay? And if you have questions, one of my very good friends, Clara Galan, you can find her at galan at adobe.com, is more than willing to answer your questions. She knows that I'm sharing this presentation today and she's anxious to hear from those who are interested in going further. So connect with her and you can learn more, okay? Lastly, let's make sure that children are not passive. We want them to be actively involved, actively engaged and we want you to be the spark that helps ignite that in students. And if you're still using old tools, I wanna to challenge you, use your phone to do some amazing things, use the tools that you have at your access to do that. And Adobe does that very, very well. And lastly, in the four C's, it's important to be able to always do something in that area. So Adobe Spark touches on pretty much every one of the four C's. All of these tools equal awesome student projects. And I want you to always remember to replace the fear of the unknown with curiosity and do the same thing for your students, okay? Thank you so much for joining me today.